Hey, Harry here, and today I've got another book review. This book is the newest one that has been released by Cassandra Clare, and it's also part written by Sarah Brennan, and it is What Really Happened in Peru, which is the first in the Bane Chronicles, and it is in the, like, point of view of Magnus Bane, which I'm sure we all absolutely wanted and loved, and I actually really enjoyed this. This is a very short short ebook as you can see i picked it up on my iphone because i don't actually own an e-reader of any sort i was going to read it on my desktop but you know i'd rather just read it on my phone i was just lying in bed one night and just flick straight through it is a short 40 pages and it's very much like a couple of short stories with his like adventures and endeavors in peru and he brings along a few friends and that is ragnar fell as well as katarina loss who are two of the warlocks you might have heard if you're into the whole Shadow Hunter world and all that. But in short, this was a very nice short book and if you like Magnus Bane, obviously you're gonna pick it up because anything from his point of view was just absolutely awesome. What I liked about this was the relationships and the little endeavors and journeys that Magnus goes on and just the like, I like the interactions between Magnus and Ragnar. I just thought that was absolutely awesome because I didn't expect them to be like that. It was very, it's very, uh comedic I'd say it's very back and forth between them both and I just thought it was absolutely awesome I don't really have an opinion on Katarina she seems like very down to earth and nice and she likes to help Magnus it seemed but yeah in short there's just a couple I think it's like three or four different short stories all together about different adventures in Peru in this little ebook and I absolutely enjoyed them they range from a bunch of different things from like Magnus being drunk off his face and just doing stupid things to like Magnus having a little love interest and I just absolutely enjoyed it I thought it was spot on for like a companion novel and I can't wait for the next one I'm hoping the next one will be a little bit longer other than that I don't really have any flaws for it so I gave it a four out of five I didn't give it a five out of five because of the whole length thing and as well as that the ending I was a little cut off but I guess the the way that this series is going to work, it's sort of expected. You wouldn't really expect Magnus Bane to have a proper answer for the whole end of this book. So if you've picked it up, please let me know what you think. This is just a short, quick little review for you all. And if you haven't already, be sure to like and I'll see you guys very soon. Goodbye.